All right, so so basically in this video, I'm just going to show you the best um, settings for like FPS, PvP, pretty much all that shit, just um, in Rust. Um, so pretty much, you want to start with graphics quality. You should probably turn that down to, um, I would say, a three, because if you have it any lower, it just makes your game look absolute ass, and you know you still get pretty good FPS with that, I'd say. But I have quite a good PC, so I play like uh, max. So shadow quality, you're gonna want zero because you still really want to be seeing shadows and shit, especially when you're trying to like see players. You know, it's just not really the thing you want. Shadow cascades, I have turned off uh, because I don't know. It's just yeah, again more FPS. Uh, you know, it's just the thing that you want. Max shadow lights, I have this on free, but honestly, I'm gonna probably turn this down to one, or maybe you can probably turn this off to be honest. Water Reflections I've gotten too. It doesn't seem to really affect FPS too much, so I think that's fine. World Reflections, uh, I, I don't really think that matters. I'd probably keep that like a one or off. It's not really matters. Shade level, can really have that on whatever. Right, your draw distance. So basically, you're gonna want this on minimum 1250, because I'm pretty sure that's the furthest you can see. Um, I, I think anything further than this I don't think it actually makes a, any impact, so I pretty much just have it like 1250 for probably the best FPS. Shadow distance, again, you know, this doesn't really matter. It's not really one of them settings that really matters. I think it says anistropic filtering or some shit. Makes textures sharpen and viewed at an angle, large performance impacts. Since this is quite a large performance impact, you're probably going to want to turn this quite far down. Especially from like a lower end PC. Um, parallax mapping. Yeah, I just have it off because you know it says high performance impact and stuff like that. Grass displacement, I mean that doesn't affect anything, so I just have that on. Then we have mesh quality and particle quality. So without your game looking completely awful, I would turn this down to probably 50. So it looks still pretty decent, but it doesn't look completely awful if you'd have it at like zero or something. And yeah, so you just object quality again, probably have that around minimum. 50 like 150 to 100 or like 75 somewhere around there tree quality this can really be like low if you want it doesn't really matter trees will just look a bit shit that's all max tree mesh meshes i don't really think that matters either uh, again it's just kind of same thing terrain quality you can have this honestly low you can have this completely off and it would probably help scene players a lot better to be honest you could probably see heads you know easier and shit like that um but then you have Grass quality, honestly, this really doesn't matter. I don't think any of it matters, but if you really want to see head and stuff like that, I'd probably turn that off. Uh, um, decor quality, I think it is. Basically, this is not going to do much as, as well, so you just pretty much just have that on 50 or like none, it really doesn't matter. Image effects, so basically, you're going to want to have pretty much all these off. And I mean, you could say, you know, have anti aliasing on. And stuff, but personally, I don't like it. So that's just like a personal thing. This depth of field, take this off like straight away as soon as you get in the game. That shit is awful. Ambient occlusion, again, it's just not a thing that I like. Won't have it on. High quality bloom, just makes your game look weird. It makes it harder to see people. Don't want that. Lens dirt, again, it's just basically the same thing. Just makes it hard to see people. Motion blur. Obviously, most of you'll probably have this already off because you know that's what um, everyone says to do when you like first get the game. Turn motion blur off because obviously it's just kind of it's just kind of shit. Basically, there's not really any way to put it um, apart from that. Then you have sun shafts, which I mean I don't really think it matters. I have not really noticed much of a difference with sh sun shafts, um, but yeah. Then there's sharpen, sharpens the seed, no performance hit. Honestly, this doesn't matter too much, but again, if you're probably trying to see head more, like if someone's like jiggling you or something, you know, you're probably gonna wanna have this off. And then we have vig vignetting, vignetting. I, don't, I don't know how to say that shit, but darkens the corner of the screen, no performance impact. I would 100% have this off because you know, you don't want your screen to be any darker than it like already is, because that's gonna, you know, mess up seeing people and all that shit. Then you have experimental Occ occlusion culling. I just have this 100% off because that's just weird shit that you just don't need. Grass shadows again have that off because you know you just don't need that. Makes it hard to see people. Contact shadows I just have that off 
again if you're trying to see see people easier and plus if you're trying to you know get higher fps because it will have some impact and this just have this off because who the fuck uses that and screen um you know just use this obviously use whatever resolution you want i mean if you want higher fps probably use lower res that's kind of how it seems to be um and you know if you're getting really low fps like if you've got a real like a horrible pc you could try windowed you know and that would probably improve your fps i know some friends that um like used to do that and stuff but personally i'm not playing exclusive vsync you're gonna want to turn that off because i'm pretty sure that gives you an input delay um as well as a lot of other issues that you just don't really want and fps limit obviously you just want to put that to either your um, refresh rate of your monitor which mine is 144 or you can just have it max if you want because it doesn't really make any difference right so then you have field of view which is pretty much just you know you need that at 90 i mean i don't really think there's anyone i know who plays on anything else but max on this game personally if it was higher i'd probably play like 100 100 something fov because you know you just you can't be playing on this fov you just have to be playing on higher fov just so you can see people basically um that compass visibility just keep on obviously for call out stream mode off free presence on again it's preference preference um keep that off right so we have max gibbs which is basically just what it says there uh max amount of gibbs of broken objects so honestly this is probably gonna have a large performance impact i would say if you have this on max you know it's obviously more stuff rendering in it's gonna affect your fps so um if you're like a medium pc you just probably just have that like and the medium or if you're low end you know just obviously have it probably just off it doesn't really affect that much to be honest then you have user interface which i mean i have mine on the default which is one i'm pretty sure just because that's what i've always had it on again it's preference and then all of these is pretty much just preference audio again is a preference thing you know you can have the music on if you want personally i recommend that off because you know you just can't really hear much and that's like pretty loud um instruments i have turned like quite far down just because they can be like quite ear rape and stuff and then sense obviously is just what you feel like comfortable with personally i have 0.6 sense and 400 dpi just because that's what i like i just like you know i just feel comfortable with that sense um I just, i'd say like that's like a medium sense i wouldn't i don't i wouldn't really say i play high sense at all but i wouldn't say i play a low sense either but um flip y-axis do not have that on obviously none of this none of this shit on the controls tab you pretty much this is all your preference uh you know this is just all up to you all the key binds and everything you know it's literally it's up to you so i mean i guess if this video helped you then just leave a like and uh yeah